Hey, what's up everyone? It's me again, your instructor for another video recording about our subject. So in this video, we are going to discuss on physical security. So I do hope that you will watch until the end. Okay, to start with our video recording, let us just try to take a look on the so-called physical security. So what is this term that we are mentioning so physical security these are the things or these are the physical measures that we are employing in order to secure ourselves but not only ourselves but also our properties and anything that surrounds us or that is important to us okay so ano ba ang mga halimbawa nito so una na po dyan, meron tayo yung mga cctv surveillance cameras okay or yung tinatawag natin closed circuit television Okay, so those are the things that we usually observe that are installed in different establishments or different uh, properties that we are seeing around us. Another one, security guards. So that is common also. Next one, the so-called protective barriers. And that is, meron tayo dyan, mga fences. Okay, mga bakod. In Tagalog kung sabihin natin. Meron din tayo yung mga tinatawag na protective locks okay locks and then we have here access control measures so ano ba yung mga access control measures na ginagawa natin usually sa mga skwelahan yung tinatawag natin na no id no entry diba chine-check yung mga identification card in order to deter yung mga pagpasok ng mga outsiders okay and then next one we have here perimeter intrusion detection or yung mga paggamit natin ng mga sensors okay just like vibration detection sensors so aside from vibration detection sensors we could we have also some movement detection sensors so we are going to uh, know more about those as we go on in this lesson okay so with that another one is the so-called um, deterrent system so what are those deterrent systems that we are employing Okay, we have here the so-called protective lightings also. So, protective lightings or lightings simply also serve as deterrent systems. Or meron dyan, papasok yung tinatawag natin na psychological deterrent. And then we have here the last one that was given there in our um, presentation, the so-called fire protection. So, what are the measures, physical measures that we are employing there or using? So, meron po tayo yung mga fire extinguishers. So, aside from fire extinguishers, fire hy hydrants. Okay, in order to prevent or to suppress if there are, there is an existence of fires okay so those are only some of the uh, those are only some actually and here we have the next slide it says your physical security measures help to combat the crime related threats that both employees and outsiders pose to the organization so with that hindi lang po yung hindi lang po yung target natin doon is outsiders. Kasi ang violators po natin not actually coming from the outside. Kung minsan meron yung tinatawag natin na inside job. Okay, so meron na tayo dyan. I mean, uh, isa rin yan sa concerns natin in physical security. Okay, so with the CCTV camera, makikita natin yung galaw ng bawat employees natin. So, yun, para makita natin kung ano yung mga ginagawa nila. Baka meron silang illegal na ginagawa. Okay, so with that, another slide. Sabi dito, if measures are properly planned, most potential intruders, whether employees or outsiders, should see the risk of detection. So, meron na dyan yung deterrent. Okay, psychological deterrent. So, yun, kapag kunwari ikaw ay nasa isang building and then makita mo, tad-tad ng CCTV camera, o, oh, mag-iisip ka ba ba ng masama? Okay, or gagawa ka pa ba ng masama? So, hindi. Actually, di ba? Dahil yon maraming CCTV cameras, minamanmanan yung mga galaw mo. So, with that, matatakot ka na. Or kung hindi man, magkakaroon na yung psychological deterrent na sinasabi natin. Okay? Huwag ka mawawala na sa isipan mong ituloy kung ano man yung mga masamang pinabalak mo. Okay? Or maingat ka na sa mga magiging galaw mo. Okay? So, next slide. We have here. Physical security systems for protected facilities are generally intended to the following. So, first one there is to deter potential intruders as we have mentioned a while ago. Okay, so, it all, uh, there was also a given example there, the so-called warning signs. Okay, aside from that, security lighting and perimeter markings. Okay, so, meron dyan yung sinasabi natin kanina ulit na psychological deterrent okay, with the use of those things warning signs and others 
Next one we have here, detect intrusions and monitor record intruders. Okay, through the use of intruder alarms or CCTV cameras. Okay, or yung sinasabi natin na meron tayo yung an example there is the so-called vibration sensors wherein it was in installed in some walls of the or building exteriors. Okay, in order na pa pag meron tayong, I mean, merong tao na or merong intruder na sinusubukan pumasok through destroying our walls, then madidetect nun. Or pag nakadetect yung ating sensor ng vibration, then it will initiate the alarm. So, at least we know that there is something uh, going on okay, inside our building exteriors. Okay? So, that is only one example. Okay? Detect intruders. So, next one we have here the so-called trigger appropriate incident responses. Okay? So, yun, na-activate yung alarm. Then, meron na. At least, meron na sign in order na makapag-respond ang ating mga security guards or not. If not, the police. Okay? So, yun. Those are only some of the three or the major intentions or purposes of physical security systems. So, next, we have here another one, physical security. It is up to the security designers, architects, and analyst, analyst to balance security controls. Okay, bakit nga ba? Kasi sabi dyan, physical access security measures that are appropriate to high security prison or military site may be inappropriate in an office. Totoo nga naman. So, what do you feel? Kapag may sabihin natin, ang employ natin na security measures, okay, ang ibibigay natin sa mga security guards natin, dun sa mga, sabihin natin, sa office natin, Okay? Sa opisina mismo natin, ang ibibigay natin na kalibre ng mga baril nila, mga no, mga matataas na kalibre ng baril, sabihin natin naka long firearm sila. So what would be the effect with that in sa environment or dun sa nature ng opisina natin? Parang hindi appropriate, di ba? Kasi nakaaramalit sila, sabihin natin naka full butter gear. So ano yung mararamdaman mo doon? Pag ma merong kliyente na papasok sa opisina mo. So it's something, it creates something uh, uncomfortable un uncomfortable feeling. Okay? Awkwardness or kung hindi man, merong takot. Kasi baka akala niya, meron sigurong, uh, madami sigurong nangyayaring hindi maganda dun. Kaya ganun yung security measures na in natin. Okay? So, yun, it should be balanced or also or appropriate. Kaya kung mapapansin ninyo sa mga hotels, di ba? Just like in hotels. Meron yung mga security guards nila na ini-employ, yung mga uniforms nila, yung gamit nila yan na uniform. It's different from the uniforms of those personnel that are employed in bank securities. ba? Kasi sa hotel, mapapansin mo, naka, ano sila, parang naka-business attire din or naka-formal attire. ba? It is for, for them to uh, be appropriate. Okay? Para maging appropriate dun sa area of responsibility nila para pag merong papasok na guest then at least uh, presentable sila okay unlike dun sa naka full battle gear sila okay naka combat attire and then naka long firearm then hindi siya ano hindi siya appropriate okay so yun lamang po yung gustong i-point out na gusto nating i-point out diyan sa part na yan okay so next we have here some principles of physical security so first here the so called the type of access necessary will depend upon a number of variable factors and therefore may be achieved in a number of ways. And then the second one, it says here, there is no impenetrable barrier. Okay? So, lahat po ng barriers natin, wala tayong masasabing perfect. Okay? Lahat-lahat po ng barriers na in-install natin, merong weaknesses yan. Okay? Or merong paraan para ma-penetrate natin yan. Okay? So, yun, wag po tayong maging uh, siguradista or I mean wag po tayong wag po tayong mag lang don sa mga barriers na in-install natin so meron na po tayong tinatawag dyan na defense in depth okay so it should be from sina, parang sinasabi dyan barrier after barrier so yun wag po tayong hindi po wag po nating sabihin purkit meron po tayong bakod dyan fences na matibay okay makapal sabihin natin solid fence napakakapal na solid fence napakataas Wag po natin sabihin or maging 
komportable, okay? Or secure, sabihin na secured na tayo doon. Okay, we should also, sabi dyan, barriers from barriers, at least meron pa, pa rin tayong uh, backup, kunwari, okay? So, we should employ also some physical measures inside also our building itself, okay? Not only doon sa, huwag tayong mag-rely doon sa bakod na in-install natin. So, yan, maglagay tayo ng CCTV cameras, okay? So, at least kapag na, nalampasan niya, nakapasok siya doon sa... Uh, solid fence na then then at least meron tayo dyan yung CCTV cameras na titingin or mag-check or mag-monitor and then kung hindi man uh, hindi ma-detect ng ating camera at least yung mga walls ng ating exterior or building syempre medyo sabihin din natin quality or matibay hindi yung apa, yung sipain mo lang ng minsan mapapasok agad so napakahina po nun okay so at least yung mga doors din natin it is made up of security uh, relied on or security sabihin natin na hindi hindi penetrable or hindi madaling masira okay so yun po yung sinasabi na, natin diyan sa defense in depth so barrier after barriers okay so we have here the next one delay is provided against surreptitious and non surreptitious entry so sometimes physical security measures actually not to keep us safe absolutely pero yon sometimes it only delay okay para at least ma hindi at least ma bigyan tayo ng time it, na ma-detect yung mga intruders okay so it serves as only to delay some surreptitious entry not actually to prevent them from entering okay so next one we have here each installation is different okay magkakaiba as we have mentioned a while ago Tignan natin kung appropriate ba ito na install natin dun sa lugar na yun or hindi. Okay, so that's it. That's why it is said to be different. Next one, we have here the elements and designs of physical security. So, there are five that was mentioned there in our presentation and our notes. It says here, number one, protective barriers. Okay, second one, natural surveillance. Third one, protective lighting security lighting okay or security lighting and then the fourth one video surveillance and then lastly the so-called access control okay so we are going to discuss them one by one in this session or in this uh, chapter okay so let us talk first the so-called protective barriers okay ano po ba yung sinasabi natin na protective barriers so it we have here the definition it says here any physical structure whether natural or man-made so take note any physical structure whether whether natural or man-made capable of restricting de deterring delaying or preventing illegal and unauthorized access to an installation so let's take a look of an example of this so let us try to have this example yung nasa picture natin okay so as you can see in the picture what are the types of barrier that was used there so as you can see um you can observe natural barrier was installed was used okay in that uh, certain place okay so makikita nyo nagamit dyan bodies of water di ba ginagamit as barrier so tignan nyo yung nasa gitna okay take a look dun sa may gitna Okay? yung sa establishment or sa mga buildings na na-install doon sa or nakatayo doon sa gitna okay? sa tingin mo madali bang pasukin yan if you if you are going to plan something uh, bad or some uh, or against doon sa establishments or doon sa buildings na nandoon sa lugar na yun do you think you can easily enter or in uh, makapasok doon sa lugar na yun okay So, yun, kailangan mo pang gagamit ng bangka. Okay, yun nga. Yun nga lang, pag, na, pag nakarating ka naman dun sa lugar, are you sure you can enter or makatapak dun sa lupa dun sa lugar na yun? Okay, so kung titignan mo, after the uh, nagamit din dyan is uh, natural uh, or bodies of water, pero yun, makikita mo din, merong mga nagamit na um, man-made barriers dun sa ano, nalagyan siya ng fences, okay, dun sa area of responsibility nila. Okay, so, that is what being pointed out there. So, take note, it could be natural or man-made, okay? So, what are the purposes of barriers? So, simply define the physical limits of an area, okay? Define yung teritoryo or yung sakop ng, or yung area of responsibility 
responsibility natin, yung limit. Okay? Define the physical limits. And then, here, number two, create physical and psychological deterrent to unauthorized entry, as we have mentioned a while ago. Next one is, prevent penetration therein or delay intrusion, thus facilitating apprehension of intruders. So, yun, as we have mentioned again a while ago, barriers actually don't uh, absolutely prevent penetration, but also it just uh, serve as delaying uh, procedures only sometimes, okay? And then for the fourth one, assist in more efficient and economical employment of guards. So, yun, hindi mo nakakailanganin ng napakaraming security guards, okay? So, yun, pwede ka na lang dyan mag-install ng mga physical or mga protective barriers, okay? Para malimitahan mo din, at least uh, economical uh, or practicality as a as a, sabihin natin, as a businessman. Okay? And then we have here the next one. Facilitate and improve the control of vehicular traffic such as roadblocks. Okay? So, at least, malimitahan din yung gagalawan ng mga sasakyan kapag meron kang mga barriers na in-install dyan. Okay? So, those are some of the purposes of barriers only. And here, we have the next one. Types of barriers. So, what are the types of ba physical barriers? Okay. Number one there is the so-called natural barrier. So, geographical features, simply geographical features. So, it's it could be bodies of water such as rivers okay. or if not, uh, mountains. Okay. Mountains and others. So, so long as it is not made by a human. Mapapansin nyo dyan, meron din dyan yung uh, sa Great Wall of China, di ba? Uh, dalawang... It is a combination actually of natural barrier and then meron yung tinatawag natin na structural barriers or yung sinasabi natin na man-made barriers. Okay? Kung mapapansin nyo dyan sa picture ng Great Wall natin, yung structural barriers dyan yung, yung, ano, yung uh, concrete walls na ginamit nila okay? or concrete fences that we they have used. And then yung mountain, uh, I mean yung location okay? is the is a geo geographical feature or the mountain itself. Okay, and then we have here the next one. Uh, let us try to focus on naman dito sa structural barrier. So, as I've mentioned a while ago, in other words, ito po ay man-made barriers. So, uh, an example of these fences. Okay, and then we, later on, we are going to discuss some of the types of fences kasi meron yung tinatawag natin solid and uh, full view fences. Okay, so meron din tayong walls. Fence and walls are different, okay? So, sa walls, di ba, yan yung uh, naka-attach mismo doon sa building natin, okay? Yung fences natin, yung mga bakod natin, it is somewhat separated from the building. And then, we have here the next one, grills, okay? Grills, we usually install in windows, okay? Or if not in windows, uh, as a backup doon sa mga doors natin. And then, we have here the fourth one, I mean the fifth one, roadblocks, okay? It is, it is to control vehicular, uh, ways and then we have here the next one screens okay pero itong screen natin screen na ito it is only for uh, slight protection or somewhat private privacy lang kung minsan yung purpose ng screen na yan okay not actually to prevent intrusion from our uh, places next we have here the so called human barriers so um, structural barrier don't be confused with human barriers so an example I mean dito naman sa human barriers these are the persons being used in providing or guarding system okay or pro providing security in our establishment or in our places so an example of that are our security guards okay tinutukoy po natin yung mga taong ini-employ natin but not only security guards but the employees also okay kasi sabi nga natin um, security is everybody's concern, okay? Not only a concern of our security officers. So, fourth one, we have here the so-called now animal barriers. Simply, yung mga animals na ginagamit natin in order to provide guarding system, okay? An example of that, yung mga aso, okay? So, with that, meron tayo yung Akita, wherein nasabi nila that is the number one uh, breed of dog that are uh, best suited for uh, security uh, or sabi natin guard okay guard dogs okay best guard dogs so that is an example okay next one we have here the so-called 
energy barrier. So, ano yung naman tong energy barrier? So, simply, we are pertaining to this. We are pertaining to the employment of mechanical or electrical or electronic energy. So, an example of that, meron na po tayong mga modernong kagamitan. Okay? The modern uh, installations that we are using. So, an example, protective lightings and then alarm systems, CCTV surveillance, and others. And so long as it uses electronic or electrical or mechanical energies. So, yun po yung sinasabi natin dyan na energy barriers. Okay, next one we have here the so-called three line of physical defenses. So, meron po tayong tatlo as, uh, as we have emphasized. Number one, there is the first line of defense. So, what are these, uh, what are the example of this first line of defense na ito? So, meron po tayong perimeter fences or barriers. So, Simply, ito yung pinaka uh, una. Okay? The first line in defense or pinaka outside or somewhat separated from our area of responsibility. Okay? And then next one, we have here the second line of defense. An example of that, the building exteriors or yung mga uh, walls po natin. Walls, doors, windows, roof, roof openings, fire escapes. So, number seven there, we have the so-called protective and emergency lightings. And then eight is CCTV cameras and other electronic security systems that serves as energy barriers. Okay, so those are examples of this, our second line of defense or building exterior compa components. So, next one, we have here the so-called third line of defense or in other words, the interior controls. So, what are the examples of this? So, we have here, number one, ID systems, okay? Identi identification systems, protective alarm systems still, kasi hindi lang naman yung building exteriors natin, yung in natin ng protective alarms. Pwede rin sa loob, okay? Interior, uh, that is also one of our interior control components. And then, the next one, protect protective lighting, I mean, protective emergency lightings. We have the, here, the fourth one, communication systems. Another one, CCTV cameras and other electronic security kasi yun, uh, it's same with our uh, protective alarm systems. We also in, install it in our interiors, not only in exteriors. Okay, and then the, sex, uh, the next one is the so-called restricted areas, okay, storage areas or utilities. Number seven, their access control. Eight is key control, and then nine is emergency plans, and then lastly, or number ten, there is the, our security guards. Okay, so those are the three line of defense or three uh, line of physical defense that we are talking about. Okay, so that's it for this part. Next, we are going to talk about perimeter barrier. So, ano naman po itong perimeter barrier na sinasabi natin? So, we have here some definitions or description about this. So, it says here, a medium or a structure which defines the physical limits of an installation of an area to restrict or impede access thereto. So, it's still under physical security or physical, yes, a physical, uh, I mean, uh, ito yung specific na tawag natin dun sa tinutukoy natin kanina. Okay, kasi it is under still ng physical security measures. And then we have here, any physical barrier used to supplement the protection of an inside perimeter. So, ito yung uh, nabibilang dun sa first line of defense natin. Okay, so ito yung pinakauna or nasa labas mismo ng ating building exteriors. And then we have here, the main purpose of it is simply to deny or impede access or exit of an authorized person. So, yun po yung uh, perimeter barrier natin. Aside from that, yun, as we have mentioned a while ago, it serves as the first line of defense natin. And then, this may be in form of fences, building walls, or even bodies of water. So, that is an example. And then, the function and location of the facility itself usually determine the perimeter of, installation, of the installation. Okay, so, uh, that is what we so-called perimeter barrier. Okay, by the word itself, perimeter, so meaning yung uh, physical or yung, uh, I mean, uh, sabi natin, the boundaries, okay, physical limit ng ating area of responsibility. Okay, and then, uh, we have here two kinds. Okay, sabi dyan, two kinds of perimeter barriers. Number one, there is inside perimeter. Okay, so what is this inside perimeter? So, a line of protection adjacent to the protected area and passing through 
points of possible entry into the area such as doors, windows, skylights, or other points of interest. I mean, access. Okay, so inside perimeter, it is uh, actually somewhat attached to our building exterior. So, yun po yung tinatawag natin na inside perimeters, kagaya po ng ating mga pintuan, walls, and then any possible entries or points of entries. And then, yung outside perimeter natin, ito na yung medyo napalayo na or nasa uh, hindi na na-attach dun sa building exteriors natin. Kagaya na lang ng, uh, sabi dyan, remove from the putrek protected area such as fences natin, yung mga bakod. Okay? So, yun yung pagkakaiba ng inside perimeter with outside perimeter. Okay? So, we have here the purposes of purposes of perimeter barrier. So, number one, there is to control vehicular and pedestrian traffic law. Okay? And then, the next one, checking identification of personnel entering, entering or departing. And then, third one, defining the buffer zone. Okay? So, yung tinutukoy po natin na buffer zone na ito, Okay? So, it is somewhat yung boundary. Okay? Yung limit. Okay? Limit ng uh, area of res responsibility natin. Okay? Yun yung tinutukoy natin na buffer zone. Or in other words, sinasabi nila dyan na sinasabi nila na yan yung boundary. Okay? Yung gitna ng uh, from the other establishments to another establishments. Okay? So, the middle part. Okay? Yung boundary itself or the physical limit. So, yun yung tinutukoy natin na buffer zone. And then, we have here, outline the perimeter of the area secured, as we have mentioned a while ago. Great physical and psychological deterrent to unauthorized entry. Okay? Kung, kung nakita mo, walang fences dyan din, kahit sino-sino pwedeng makapasok dyan or uh, um, hindi matatakot. Okay? Or parang walang ano, walang wala sa kanyang isipan or wala wala yung tinatawag natin na psychological deterrent okay unlike kapag merong naka-install diyan na bakod okay so yun at least ma-deter natin ma-deter natin yung mga tao na papasok-pasok doon so sabihin natin at least meron lang diyan nakalagay na uh, sabihin full view fence na kahit man lang maliit lang hindi 7 feet height so yun even though na kahit mababa lang yung fences na nakalagay diyan di ba kunwari yun at least yung tao may isip niya, uy, bawal sigurong pumasok dito kaya merong mga bakod. So, yun po yun. At least, it uh, also create physical and psychological deterrent to unauthorized entry. Okay? And then, we have here number six, delay intrusion thus facilitating apprehension of intruders. Okay? So, that's it for some of the purposes of perimeter barriers. So, next one, we are going to talk about the layers of security. So, number one, there is the so-called perimeter control. So, ano po ba yung mga dyan? So, these are security barriers, okay, the checkpoints or yung uh, gate mismo natin, okay, or dun sa entry, point of entry ng papasok mismo doon sa area of responsibility natin. It, it is considered the outermost layer to anticipate okay, or, or identify hostile elements at the vicinity of the communication area. Okay? So, it's simply referring to yung uh, pinaka-outermost part or the, yes, the pinaka-first point of entry okay, in our area of responsibility. So, area access control. So, these are the measures that we are employing in order to control if who can enter or to prevent unauthorized entry in our area of responsibility. So, number one there, meron tayo yung, uh, an example there is yung no ID, no entry in schools, di ba? Not only in schools, ginagamit din yan, no ID, no entry in some establishment just like in malls diba every morning the security guards are checking their identification cards if they are employees there before the they can enter okay so yun um, aside from that uh, not only that yung ID identification card systems meron din tayo yung tinatawag na passes okay yung mga gate passes nila okay kapag wala kang gate pass hindi ka makakapasok dun sa establishment okay or kapag wala kayong sabihin natin yung card or kung ano pa man yan na uh, um, identification cards in order to uh, determine kung ikaw ba ay authorized to enter the establishment or not. Okay, so those are what we are pertaining on area access control. So, control measures undertaken to prevent 
unauthorized entry. So next one we have here the control of operation area. Okay, so these are the final considered to be the final measures undertaken prior to the entry of an operating room. So it is dun uh, sa medyo sa loob na mismo to ng area of responsibility natin. Okay, so jan um, as you can see in the picture, let's say it is a food in industry. Okay, food manufacturing company or industry wherein bago kayo papasok dun sa ano sa um processing mismo or dun sa food manufacturing area mismo. Okay? Meron yung mga superiors ninyo or mga assigned staff na magche-check muna sa inyo bago kayo papasok don. So, anong titignan nila? Okay? Titignan nila kung meron ba kayong mga dalang substances na pwedeng makasira don sa mga product na ginagawa ninyo. Okay? Ano pa? Chine-check din kung meron kayo yung Uh, naka-gear din kayo doon sa proper uniform kung minsan, di ba? Tine-check kung meron sabihin natin food manufacturing usually na tine-check din dyan yung mga pon kung naka-ponytail ka ba nakaayos para hindi mahalo yung mga buhok mo doon sa mga products na ginagawa ninyo aside from that meron ka bang uh, sabihin natin yung suit mo ba is naayon or comfortable ba para ikaw ay makapagtrabaho doon or suit mo ba yung uniform ninyo and others so aside from that Meron din yung uh, sa mga food manufacturing industries, chine-check din kung uh, naka ano ka, naka yung mga fingernails mo, hindi ba mahaba yan. Okay. So, at least man, inoobserbahan din nila or chine-check din nila yung hygiene ninyo. Kasi take note, you are under or you are employed in a food manufacturing company. So, those are some example of controls or control measures that we are employing in or before entering in operation area. Example lang yun, pero napakarami pang measures na ginagawa. Okay? Next one, we have here the fourth one, control of communication area naman. So, ito yung pinaka-crucial na area wherein it is, it should be also taken into consideration. Okay? Kasi, communications or sa communication area, usually dun, nanggagaling yung mga vital informations natin. So, yun, some of the five, security measures that were being unde undertaken prior to the entry o into the into a communication area meron tayo diyan yung mga yun mga bawal so ano yung mga bawal na uh, pinagbabawal natin usually para hindi hindi tayo ma biktima ng espionage or uh, sabihin natin maiwasan natin yung makuha yung mga communications natin doon na uh, nagko-contain ng mga vital information so nandiyan Bawal ang camera, okay? Bawal ang camera kapag papasok sa uh, communication area natin. Bawal cellphones, no recording, no video recorders, okay? Or no audio recorders. So, those are some only of the physical, I mean, the security measures in order for us to control the, to control our uh, security in communication areas. Okay? So, those are what we so-called the layers of security, So with that, so with that, I would like also to end our video recordings on that uh, topic for today. So I do hope that you have learned something in this video. So thank you once again for being with me in these video recordings until the end. So that's it. I would like to say goodbye and then please take care of yourselves and see you on our next sessions. Mm -hmm.